Welcome to Vidya Tiplash Video Lectures. In this session you will learn about Protection against Over voltage So we will say about the topic Protection against over voltages So uh, the, for, uh, Some of the equipments may be placed indoor And some of the equipments may be placed outdoor So in the outdoor uh, when we place there, there is uh, there Mainly you can see that there are two types of uh, over voltages one because of placing in the outside you can see the over voltage is mainly due to the lightning internally due to, due to the switching surges now let us see what happens due to lightning and how the lightning occurs here first let us see here you can see a cloud here and this is your ground uh, earth uh. so this occur first lightning occurs because of the electrical discharge between electrical discharge in air between two clouds or between charge centers of the same cloud or between the cloud and the earth. These are the main reason for occurring for lightning. Once again I repeat, it is the electrical discharge in air between two clouds or between cloud and earth or the charge centers of the same cloud. Okay. So what happens? Let us see step by step now. This is a cloud here and this is your earth where it forms as a capacitor, parallel plate capacitor. So this is one plate, this is the other plate of a capacitor where air, air acts as a dielectric medium here. Let us assume that the cloud is of negative charge. So the bottom of the cloud has here all occupied with negative charge here. So immediately if this is negative charge, the opposite charge should be here which is nothing but positive charge in the ground. So what happens here immediately is when the potential gradient exceeds about 30 kilovolt per centimeter the charge centers from here starts coming down that is the negative charge charges starts coming down so it comes as a stepped leader it is called as stepped leader the step leader the distance is 50 meters the distance for a one stepped leader is 50 meter so it starts from here comes up to 50 meter and stops then again it starts from here comes up to 50 meters and stops so it as well it is a first step second step third step it comes like that so when it starts coming from here to the mid say you know that if it is this is negatively charged the opposite will be positively charged and it starts attracting immediately what happens the positive charge from the ground starts going up so that is called the return streamer so this also goes in steps so at one time period you can see that the negative streamer and the return streamer both gets joined together so what happens at that time it causes the lightning there you can see here it, you can see a bright light coming out so that is called the lightning here where the stepper leader and return streamer joins together you can see the lightning okay so you can see here this is one set of charge centers this is the other set of charge center suppose here all the charges negative charges accumulated here is over here over so what happens here the immediately then it takes the charges from the second charge center that is if this is over it takes charges from the second charge center and starts its origination point here again the lightning occurs here when the step leader and return steamer joins together this happens to be the lightning so one thing you have to remember is lightning occurs when the potential difference goes beyond 30 kilovolt per centimeter that is the important thing you should remember here and it happens only if the return streamer and the step leader joins together okay now we will see the types of lightning strokes here there are two types called the direct stroke and the indirect stroke first one is the direct stroke so you can see a cloud here which is of positively charged okay now these are the two uh, towers here and the overhead line is running between the two towers and suppose if this this is connected to the ground uh, let us assume that here a power station is there and here a power station is there or here, uh, suppose here a power station is there and here a distribution system is there from here okay so what happens here the charge the charges from the cloud starts coming down and when a lightning happens here as seen earlier it comes in the form of stepped leader it starts coming 50 meters 50 meters 50 meters finally at one period, point of time it strikes the overhead line which is hanging here so what happens immediately 
the overhead line immediately gets affected because of this direct stroke. So from here the charges get some accumulator, it goes to the tower, this uh, tower will be connected to the ground. So the charges will be directed to the ground here. Suppose if the power system is uh, equipments are connected to this tower, what happens? This charges which is getting accumulated here immediately goes and affect all the components which is connected to this tower. So this direct stroke is a very severe stroke which, are, uh, which uh, completely distracts all the equipments which is connected to the overhead line. So this should be avoided at any case of time. Next is your indirect stroke where you can see that the lightning doesn't come straightly. In turn there will be induced charge coming here. For example, assume that the cloud is of positive charge. So if it is a positive charge, the, the opposite immediate charge is negative charge which gets induced in the transmission line here. If the negative charges is induced here, the opposite charge of which, if this is negative, the positive will be going in the towers and it goes to the ground immediately. So compared to the direct stroke, indirect stroke, the charge intensity is little low but still it has a very high amount, high defects. So our main aim should be to protect the transmission line and the components which is connected to the transmission line from the lightning strokes. So how will you protect the components? Let us see the measures, now see the measures for protecting the components and the towers against this lightning. There are four methods, one is your earthing screen, next is your overhead ground wires, next is your lightning arrester or it is called a surge diverter. First is a earthing screen. Now I said that the uh, tower is connected to the power system components. So if the uh, uh, overhead line from the charges comes to the uh, uh, power system, all the components gets affected as I said. So what will you do to protect the power system components? So suppose if their components are like this, many of the components are this, like this. So what you do is above the components, you are placing a copper conductor like this. So what happens when the lightning comes is all the copper conductors will be interconnected and this will be connected to the ground. So what all the lightning charges which comes here will be absorbed by the copper conductors completely and goes to the ground. So the components of the protect, uh, the power system will be completely protected against lightning. So that is called as earthing screen which is mainly employed to protect the components of the power system. Next is your overhead ground wires. So as a name itself indicates that it is a going to be a ground wire that is the wire you are going to connect it to earth but it is placed in the overhead. Okay. See here what happens. This is again your two towers here. This is your line conductor. So the line conductors if uh, lightning happens, happens it will straightly affect the line conductor immediately. So to protect this line conductor you are placing an overhead ground wire above this line conductor. So the necessity of placing this overhead ground wire is if lightning comes from this cloud it will affect the overhead ground wire. See here the overhead ground wire will be connected to the ground immediately. So immediately as the charges comes from the cloud will be directed to the earth and it will not affect the line conductor at any case. So the second measure is to protect the transmission line against the lightning. So first earthing screen is to protect the power system components. Second the overhead ground wires is to protect the transmission line, li transmission line against your lightning. Next third one is your lightning arrester. Lightning arrester as you have seen already in many buildings, tall buildings all that. To protect the tall buildings you are employing a lightning arrester or surge diverter which will be seen in the next section. Thanks for watching video tip plus video lectures. Subscribe to us for more videos.